Hey, this is David B69. Welcome to today's video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Let's get on to the show. Hey, everybody, this is David B69, and welcome to All Star Hockey Saturday. It's really cool. I'm wearing my Flyers gear. Um, and uh, yeah. Got some retro games in the mail. Um, let's just go right to it. First thing is from Lukey Games. First, we got a receipt. We all want to see that. First game is Banjo Tui. Don't ask me how I don't have this game. Um, yeah, the banjo games I just never had. Um, and, uh, yeah. Really wanted to add these to my collection, so banjo Tui is on my collection now. Next up. And this one's a very interesting one. Is Halo 2. Yes, I know I already have Halo 2. Um, but this one is actually... The disc is getting moved to the collector's edition. Um, so that way I have a complete for my collector's edition. And I'm going to double check the manual off of my other copy. And whatever the better one is, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and I figure I can use this case for other things. Um, thankfully, it's like the bottom of this case, the artwork is kind of messed up. So it's as good as garbage anyway. So I'm actually happy to turn that one over. Um, let's go to Retro Raven next. Um, I love, I've been loving everything that I get from Retro Raven, by the way. It's been actually like a, uh, massive plus to my collection. The first game is for the NES, and that is Exodus. Um, I am just such a huge, huge fan, um... Of these, uh, of these Bible games and stuff. I mean, just, I love the, the art, <laughs> the actual system and stuff. It's, like, really cool. Um, it says to start game, please wait for nine flashes on the TV screen. And please wait seven seconds between power and off and on. Just wild. Um, but it, they call it a good Bible study tool and everything, so... Just kind of cool. Um, just thought that was kind of cool and different. Next up, uh, continue our biblical adventures, and we're gonna go with Bible adventures. Like I said, it's like I just wanted to get these third-party titles because I've actually never had them, never played them. I know nothing about them, and this one is a light blue cartridge. Kind of cool, kind of different. So, yeah. It is kind of wild. So, but uh, does anybody have these? Did anybody have them complete? I just like that it's like these guys give you the like the artwork and stuff, even though it's not the original artwork. It's just kind of cool to have it. Next up. All the one game. And here is the other. And that is Banjo Kazooie. So now I have Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. Um, but I really wanted the I really wanted the case for both, but it's one of those things where I'm just happy to have it now. So it's like really cool. So, got these cases. So very, ha very happy. And next up here, I have Video Games Monthly. And I'm happy to say this guy is packed. Um, now, I asked, I asked for something special. Um... 
which I generally don't do. I don't generally ask for some, anything special. Um, I hate to ask for any kind of thing, but I love these guys so much. I wanted to be able to just show them the love. So let's see if they show me the love by giving me what I, what I asked for. And let's open this up. And yes, they did. They showed me the love, people. Um, they gave me a Floydomania t-shirt. So, super stoked. Um, so, starting next month, I will be wearing Floydomania every single month. And um, when I'm at Siege in July, you can see me wearing this shirt. So, I'm um, super stoked, very excited to have it. So, special thanks to the folks at Video Games Monthly for this shirt. I appreciate it. Um, really, really happy with it because I like have no problem showing their wares because they've been really good to me. Um, this is the Win Win Three Games thing. And let's go. First game for the NES, we got Chess Master. Wow, this is really nice condition. Super stoked. I don't believe I have this one. Um, I probably shouldn't because it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be part of my collection because I don't remember it before and it's not part of my list, I don't think so. Ah, uh, Chess Master. The perfect simple game. Only $7.11. Pretty good for a nice old school game. But it's nice and simple to play. Um, as you can see, just move the pieces, play the game, and yeah. Not too complicated, but a nice game, and I find it rather soothing and relaxing. Next up is Dragon Warrior. Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to play this for like so long. Mystical Quest, search out the Dragon's Lair. That is awesome. Dragon Warrior is $9.99 of RPG goodness. I really, really love RPGs. Did I ever told you that? And I can spend a lot of time playing them. Um, now, this is looking like one of the, those contenders that I'm going to be sinking my teeth into a lot of hours into. Because, um, like I said, I love a good RPG. And this could be one because it looks like something I would play. That is like so so stoked to see that. Ooh, this is actually really cool. This is one of those uh, slap bracelets. Um, it's been like kind of like wrapped here, um, but you can do that, and it has like all the. Very Mario centric, so it's kind of cool. So, yeah, that's very cool. And I'm very excited for this. This is a game and everything I've been eyeing, and it's been in, in and out of my inboxes for so long. Excite Bike. Um, I've wanted this game for the longest time. It's like a nice um, black, black game and everything, which means it's the first thing um and you can like pro do your own programming and make your own courses in this game so excited to actually have this now excite bike is something that i've been looking forward to for a long time at seven dollars and 75 cents 
this is like a perfectly priced game um, that is definitely worth a lot of time and effort. So I'm definitely getting my value worth out of this game and you can create your own tracks and have other friends play it as well man it's just non-stop fun if you ask me and i really love me some excite bike Next up is for the Super Nintendo, and that is NBA Jam Tournament Edition. I love NBA Jam. I absolutely love, love these games and stuff. Ah, super excited to have this on my Super Nintendo. Now, the big score of the bunch is NBA Jam Tournament Edition at $12.77. This is an excellent game, and I really, really am pumped up to have it. Or can I say, boom, shaka laka 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 laka. So, yeah, I love me some NBA Jam. Um, you can just, I can just play for hours and hours. It's a great game, and I already have it on the Genesis, so very happy to have it on the Super Nintendo. And lastly, the last game in the box for the month is it's pretty cool, actually. I've been actually looking at this one, too. Hole-in-One Golf. Um, label's not in the greatest condition. I'm going to have to, I'm going to try to see if I can get a little bit of glue and push that back into place a little bit um, to get that to stick. But very happy with this overall. Uh, hole in one golf. I have to take a look at that and see how that plays. So let's uh now hole in one golf is kind of like a miss for me. I mean this is a super Nintendo game and it has worse graphics than some of the games and stuff that were for the what for the NES. I really don't get this. I think it's a, I think it's an L, um, and if you can understand the price at five fifty five, because it's just not really have the bang for the buck in my opinion. Um, yeah, I really probably am not going to be playing much of this game overall. Um. Yeah, we'll go over these games, and I'll uh, obviously have the prices of all the stuff for Video Games Monthly at the end. So, let's get to it. <laughs> 